Now this is a uh, special ceremony where we're going to honor six people and organizations that embody the goals, beliefs, and values of the Rumi Forum. And they include intercultural and interfaith dialogue, democracy, and peace. And those are values, goals, and beliefs that every one of us in this room shares. I'd like you to sit down now and enjoy your dinner because this is not only an award ceremony, it's a dinner, and that's a good part of it as well. And we have a special guest who's going to speak with you as you dine this evening. And I'm going to give you a moment to be seated, and then I'm going to call him up to the stage. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to take the time to introduce a very special friend to the Rumi for him. He is Congressman Kendrick Meek of the 17th Congressional District of Florida. Congressman Meek. Congressman Meek, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very much and good evening to everyone. Uh, welcome to the United States Capitol. My name is Congressman Meek. I represent the state of Florida, um, Dade and Broward County. And I, we're very honored because we have a number of people that will be honored tonight and members of Congress and also members of the diplomatic corps and those that are working towards not only peace and dialogue, but the Rumi Awards are are something to promote um, not only dialogue but encourage the people of goodwill and institutions of goodwill to continue to do what you do so that we can bring about peace. Um, here in this cannon room there are a number of meetings that take place amongst the Democratic Caucus and the Republican Caucus and uh, it, it's to not only make our country stronger here in the United States but also provide the kind of leadership uh, throughout the world and also promote dialogue in a peaceful way. And it's very, very appropriate that all of us are here and I'm very impressed uh, by so many representatives um, of countries and organizations that are here. I want you to not only enjoy your evening tonight, but uh, talk to your neighbors and reflect on the work that you've done um, throughout this year and Hopefully we will be able to reconvene here at the Capitol. The Capitol is open to um, not only Americans, but also to uh, foreign dignitaries such as yourself. And during your time here working in this capital city and spending time in New York at the UN, it's always good to have you here. So I know that there'll be other members coming in and out, but I wanted to welcome you to the Capitol. I wanted to welcome you back when you're ready to come back and see some of the history that we have here in this Capitol. The Cannon Building in this room, this caucus room, is a very, very important room and will um, continue to serve um, as a beacon of dialogue and peace as we move along. So to our awardees, I congratulate you and I welcome all of you here tonight. Thank you for allowing me to speak. Thank you. In addition to uh, Congressman Meek, we had another number of uh, members of the House of Representatives here tonight, uh, a number of ambassadors and dignitaries as well, and we'd like to thank all of them for coming as well. Um, right now, I'd like to call up Congressman Robert Aderholt of Alabama's 4th Congressional District. Congressman Aderholt. Let me also, uh, as with uh, my colleague uh, Congressman Meek, just want to say uh, welcome to the United States Capitol and uh, we're very glad to have everyone that's visiting here. I know we have several in this room that are uh, my colleagues, uh, co-workers that uh, we work, that I work with on a daily basis, but uh, those of you who are not uh, usually in this building or in this on the hill on a daily basis, we do welcome you here. And uh, this is my first time to, to attend the uh, uh, Rumi Forum uh, dinner and uh, just recently uh, learned about the Rumi Forum, what it's doing 
And uh, I think it's uh, a great uh, mission of what it's doing is trying to reach out to try to bridge uh, the gap, try to uh, build bridges between cultures, between faiths, and uh, to try to find common ground. And uh, certainly here in the city of Washington, that is needed, but it's needed around the world. Uh, peace and dialogue is something I think is something that is uh, that this entire world needs more of. And so what you're doing here at the uh, Ermi Forum is exactly, I think is the exact um, recipe for trying to have world peace and so that we can try to work together. I, uh, I am from Alabama. I represent the 4th Congressional District of Alabama. Uh, this is my uh, 13th uh, year serving here in the House of Representatives. Uh, the area that I represent is the area of the uh, northern part of the state between Birmingham and Huntsville, that portion of the state. But uh, like I said, this is my first time to be here at, for the dinner. I'm very uh, glad to have the invitation to be here. Uh, and I uh, just want to, as uh, Congressman Meek said, want to congratulate those that are going to be honored tonight, those that are going to be uh, receiving the awards for, uh, for their work and what they're doing as well. So again, I uh, look forward to working with you and uh, please know how my office can be of help to you in any way. Please let us know and uh, we uh, look forward to working with you in the future on uh, future projects. Thank you. As I mentioned, we have a number of good friends of Rumi Forum here tonight. Among them are Representative John Conyers of Michigan's 14th District. Congressman Conyers. Good evening, friends. Those first two forkfuls of salad were delicious. <laughs> I want you to know that. I can hardly wait to get back to polish off the rest of my meal. I come from the tradition of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. And so to discuss the issues of peace, of reconciliation, and of fairness is describing the reason that I came to Congress. I'm not uh, reluctant to admit that I am the only member of Congress that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. ever endorsed. And I only hope that I'm living up to this Howard Coble, the greatest American I have ever met in my life that influenced not only my political outlook, but it, it influenced my philosophy toward life. And so I welcome you. I urge you to get to know me and the other members of Congress. Uh, my office is open for any assistance that I can provide. And you might want to know that part of my philosophy turns on the belief that everything is everything and that we are all interconnected whether we know it or not or whether we like it or not. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, well, it means that everybody born and living 6.4 billion people out of a couple hundred, 232 different nations are interconnected even more so now in the 21st century than they were at any other time. That is to say 